Hey folks, welcome to another Passion for Sound audio review. Now you could be forgiven for thinking I've got nothing to review today because what I'm actually reviewing is this tiny little chip here. You may have seen my previous reviews of a number of different op amps from Burson Audio, namely the V6 Vivid and the V6 Classic. One of our great viewers by the name of Aforgamon has mentioned a brand called Sparkos and said that there were some good reviews going around about the SS3601 op amp. So I reached out to Sparkos, um, had some great chats with Andrew, and he was kind enough to send me a couple of their op amps to test in the Burson Audio Fun Amplifier. <laughs> technically minded it's going to be worth jumping over to Sparko's webpage and having a look at all of the information they provide on the SS3601 and 3602 and I should mention that the 01 is the single version so you need two of them like this for a stereo amplifier and the 02 version is a dual op amp so you just have one of those in a situation where the amplifier has just the one op amp for the stereo signal. So I'll put a link below if you are technically minded do jump over and have a look at all of the information provided by Andrew on the webpage. The design and the thought that has gone into the 3601 and the 3602 is really obvious in all of the conversation he has there and he talks about the amount of gain used, the way that he's achieved the low distortion figures and also the decisions that have been made in terms of the componentry to include within this discrete design. I'm not going to get into it here because I'm not qualified to talk about it at that level, I'm really just interested in what it sounds like. Now on the website Sparkos do say that the sound is like the voice of God overlaid with a choir of angels singing. Um, but that's just them having some fun and being a bit sarcastic. Obviously, I'll talk in just a moment about how I think it actually sounds. I'm going to intersperse a few excerpts from my previous reviews where I've talked about the OPA627, the Burson Audio Classic and the Burson Audio Vivid just to put these into a little bit of context. For those that haven't seen my other reviews of op amps, um, what the op amp is, it's a chip that goes into your amplifier and essentially does the job of amplifying or increasing the gain of the audio signal. So they're really a key part of how good an amplifier can sound. The Burst and Audio Fun for me is a fantastic amp. I love that you can roll op amps like these through it, but it's never quite hit the heights of sound performance for me. It's good, it's solid at the price, it's great. Um, check out the review if you're interested in knowing more about it. But the summary for me has been that it's always just fallen a little bit short in terms of ultimate transparency. It's always felt a little bit like the, the sound's a bit thick. There's not a lot of space between the sound. So anyway, I was keen to see if the SS3601s could, could give me any different sort of experience, but I wasn't expecting dramatic changes. What I can tell you is that the change was profound. My first instinct when I changed from the Burson Audio V6 Vivid op amp to the SS3601 was that perhaps there was a little bit lacking in terms of the treble detail. But as time went by and I listened to it more, what I realized was that there was a level of harshness and glare from the Vivid that was no longer there with the 3601s. Instead, what I was getting was just perfect transparency and a really clean sound. Now, if we take a step back for a moment, in talking to Andrew, who I must say has been an absolute joy to deal with with our emails back and forth, Andrew's vision for the 3601 was to produce a very, very low distortion op amp. It's a discrete design, and you'll see from some of the close-ups I'm gonna show on the screen, that it's an actual circuit board of its own with a whole lot of separate little components, as opposed to a traditional op amp like, say, the OPA627 that has everything being done by a single chip. So with this SS3601, what you're getting is a little circuit board instead of the amplification chip. And it's the same approach used by the Burson V6 op amps. The SS3601 is a fairly compact op amp. It's obviously not as small as an integrated chip like the OPA627, but I can absolutely say that it'll fit into most amplifiers fairly easily. Perhaps not portable amplifiers um, if you do have an op amp rollable portable, but any desktop style amplifier, the footprint's fairly small and it's able to be sat on an adapter like I've got it here, which means it can sit up high enough if it does need to clear things around it. It's certainly easier to fit vertically than the V6 op amps from Burson Audio, but obviously in terms of its surface area, it is slightly wider. So do take that into account, but I don't think you'll have a problem fitting it into most amplifiers. In terms of sound, as I mentioned, the vision for these was to produce transparency by producing low distortion. And Sparco's Labs are very 
up front with the measurements of these op amps. And why wouldn't they be when the figures are really strong compared to the other options on the market? Their distortion figures are significantly lower across the board compared to other very highly rated and highly regarded op amps. And you can hear that in the finished product. Listening to the SS3601 in the Burson Audio Fun completely transforms the amplifier. As I said before, previously I found the fun to be a little bit thick. All of the sound sort of comes in a bit of a single blob as opposed to being well spaced out. And it's never really stacked up for me against something like the Mastrop THX789 amplifier. As soon as I've put the 3601s in there, the sound quality is so close to the THX amp that it's, it's pretty uncanny. I never expected an op amp to have that much impact on the sound of an amp because there's so much else going on in an amplifier that you are somewhat held hostage by what the rest of the circuit's doing. What these are telling me is that the circuit in the Burson Audio Fun is actually quite good because it's allowing the SS3601 to really shine and to completely change the nature of the amp. With these in there, the amp becomes transparent, it becomes open, the sound stage is bigger and better defined. Everything about it is just absolutely magic. The frequency balance of the 3601 is so good that I would say it's, it's pretty much perfect. There's no sense of bass enhancement, treble enhancement, none of that. It just really is linear. It produces the sound exactly as it should be and gets out of the way. And that's really exciting. The V6 Classic and the V6 Vivid both have their own take on the sound. They, they adjust what you're hearing slightly. And I really enjoy the V6 Classic. I think it's a very um, engaging and enjoyable op amp. It's definitely got a sense of that analog sound, if you like, a lot of engagement and rhythm to it, but it's not the last word in transparency by any stretch, nor is it meant to be. What I found with the V6 Vivid was that it was giving me everything that the OPA627 was giving, but better. The detail in the treble is a little bit better. It's got a little bit more sparkle than the 627, which can be a little bit warm and a little bit kind of veiled or, or rolled off at times. So it was improving that treble. It was giving me plenty of detail. The bass was still excellent. Everything you could want essentially was in just the right place using the Vivid. It's still probably slightly on the warmer side of neutral. So if you're used to listening to something very clean, very neutral, putting the, the V6 op amps, whether it's the Vivid or the Classic in there, is going to probably warm it up a little bit compared to what you're used to. Whereas the 3601 just says, you know what, let me get out of the way, no distortion, no um, messing with the sound to produce any particular tonality or voicing, let me just give you the audio as it was recorded. And the results are sublime. In terms of pricing, the 3601 is priced at around about $40 individually, which means you're spending about $80 for a pair like these, if you've got a, um, an amplifier that uses independent channels, or you can spend about $80 to get a single dual chip if you've got a dual setup. The cost of something like the V6 Vivid and Classic from Burson Audio is around about the same. I think they sit at about $70. US So for about $10 more for a pair of singles, you're actually getting a far better performing op amp. The V6 from, from Burson are both excellent, but these are just at a whole nother level. And for that extra $10, I think you'd be absolutely crazy not to go straight for the Sparkos option. So at this point, there's really nothing more to say. The SS3601 are hands down the best op amp I have ever heard. I've rolled through plenty of op amps in my Fio E12 DIY amplifier or portable amplifier. I've rolled through more now that I've got the Burson Audio Fun, and I can tell you that nothing has come close to giving me the transparency and the resolution that the SS3601 has. Add that to the fact that Andrew from Sparkos Labs is an absolute joy to deal with, as I mentioned before, and you're onto an absolute winner. You're gonna get good customer service if you need it, you're getting a fantastic product, and it's really well priced. It is hands down the best upgrade I think you could ever expect in an amplifier that allows you to roll up amps. If you found this interesting and you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if there's any particular reviews you'd like to see. And I hope to see you again here next time on Passion for Sound.